In this video, let us learn to draw an ER diagram for employee leave management system. So the first step is we need to choose the entities. Entity is nothing but an object with physical existence or conceptual existence. So in employee leave management system, what are all the entities needed? Company is an important entity which is needed for this. So we have to write company and every time we write entity it must be written inside a rectangular box. So I have to draw the rectangular box and write the entity name inside the box. So company I can call it as an entity because company is physically existing. It is a building you can touch the building therefore it is physically existing. Hence company is an entity. The second entity can be departments. So departments if you take, departments is not physically existing because department is conceptually existing. Inside a company various departments are existing which is conceptually present. Certain teams belong to one department. Other other kind of teams belong to another department. So it is conceptually happening. Therefore it is an entity. We have to write this inside a rectangular box. Next important entity is leave. Leave is an important entity. If you take this leave. It is conceptually existing. Because we cannot uh, see leave or we cannot touch leave because it is not physically present. It is conceptually happening. Employees take leave. So it is conceptually happening. Next important entity is employee. Employee is a person and a person is physically existing. Therefore employee is an entity. Next entity is report. Report is conceptually existing because if an employee wants to take a leave, he or she cannot directly take a leave. First, the employee should report to the manager or to higher official. Only after reporting, the leave will be provided to the employee after reviewing the leave status of the employee. So, report is an important entity. Therefore, we have written it inside a rectangular box. So, totally five entities are there. Company, department, employee, leave and report. The second step is we have to write the corresponding attributes of every single entity. Attribute must be written inside oval shape. So, what are all the attributes of company? One important attribute of company is name. Name of the company. So, it must be written inside oval shape. Next, ID of the company. ID of the company must be underlined because there are many companies in the world. Every single company will be having different ID which is unique. Now, for example, if there is a list of 10 companies, all the 10 companies will be having different IDs. No two or more companies will be having same ID. Therefore, ID is unique. So, it is a primary key and it must be underlined. Next is location of the company. So, address of the company is very important. So, totally three attributes, name, location and ID. Next, let us look into the attributes of department. We can also add another attribute to this company, description A description of the company. It is nothing but some information about the company we can mention. Next, what are all the attributes of department? Name of the department. What is a department name? That is important. Next, description about the department. Description. Now, if there are 10 departments, we have to describe every single department separately. Next, department ID. If there are 10 departments, all 10 departments will be having unique ID. So, I need to underline it. Therefore, it is a primary key. Next, what are all the attributes of leave entity? 
leave type it is an important and uh, attribute whether it is a casual leave or a sick leave or a vacation leave that is known as the type of the leave next is leave id it must be underlined it is a primary key if you are taking a leave for every single leave there will be a unique id so it is a primary key next leave description what is the reason for you taking the leave why do you want to leave so the description about the leave about asking for the leave next is leave status leave status is nothing but now i want to take a leave so my leave status will be like on this day this person is taking a sick leave so this will be my leave status on the i mean on that particular day next what are all the attributes of employee name of the employee address of the employee next phone number of the employee which must, which must be written inside double ovals because it is not necessary that the employee should have only a single phone number an employee can have more than one phone number so multi value attribute if two phone numbers are there two phone numbers are there so two values are there which is multi value therefore phone number is known as multi value attribute next email id again it must be written inside double ovals because email id is also not necessary that the employee should have only a single email id employee can have more than one email id therefore email id is known as multi value attribute next employee id every single employee will be having a unique id therefore it must be underlined which is a primary key so if there are 20 employees all 20 employees will be having different ids no two or more employees will be having the same id therefore it is a primary key so you need to underline it by writing inside a oval shape next what are all the attributes of report report date so in which date you have reported to the higher official on asking a leave and on asking for a leave so report date is important attribute next report name name of the report next id of the report which is unique for every single report now on the same day two or more employees want to leave then three reports will be sent to the manager so all three reports will be having unique id therefore it must be underlined it is a primary key next every report will be having a name so that is known as report name next description about the report while reporting you have to ask this is the reason why i want to leave so description is an important attribute of report so after writing all the attributes the next step is you need to connect all the entities by drawing lines and through relationship which is a diamond box so i need to draw a line then diamond box and connect like this draw a line diamond box 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 connect like this so company has departments company has departments so this is known as relationship this is diamond box i have to write has inside it so company has departments department has leave next company provides leave so if you take a company company will provide leave so inside this relationship i have to write provides next company has employees inside this i have to write has next employee takes leave inside this diamond box i have to write takes employee takes leave next employee has to i have to write inside this 
has to report. So the flow goes like this. Company has departments. Department has leave. Then company provides leave. Then company has employees. Employee has to report. Then employee takes leave. So this is the flow. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.